This is an ePoolscapes presentation. Hello, my name is Michael Chaffee, owner of ePoolscapes.com. This is one of a series of video clips that has been produced by ePoolscapes in order to provide an explanation for some of the swimming pool industry terminologies. This segment involves clarification as to the term known as the bond beam. A swimming pool's bond beam is a horizontal structural element found at the uppermost portion of the shell and it is embedded as part of the pool's wall structural assembly, encapsulating a prescribed schedule of steel reinforcements into concrete. The bond beams serve in part as providing horizontal strength to the pool's vertical wall, where it is also embedded by the pool's flooring structure. Bond beams in case steel reinforcement in shot creek, also known as gunite concrete, binding the structural aspects of the pool together horizontally and interconnecting it with the additional vertical reinforcement of the pool's vertical wall and pool floor or bottom. Although most engineering will allow a number 3 3 8 rebar to be installed as prescribed by a standard steel schedule for the construction of a swimming pool, the question should be, if a builder has the option of a number 3 or a number 4 and exercises the use of a smaller and cheaper size rebar, what is being said about their practices? Additionally, the standard steel schedule that is most often utilized in a submission for a building permit doesn't assume or consider the additional soil loads for expansive soils or any other structural stresses that can unwittingly become left out of the formulating equations that have made the determinations for the structural reinforcement contributions. Furthermore, the same caliber of builder that generally fails to see the need of a little extra insurance by placing just a little more structural integrity into the pool shell especially at such an almost inconsequential cost to the overall construction value for a pool, will also generally fail to see the benefit of asking for those second set of eyes from the engineer. Don't be fooled into believing that all pools are built the same and that all builders are going to have your back equally, because quite simply, they are not. Pools are known to structurally fail, and generally speaking, they most often fail due to negligence in the practices of those who don't know any better. No one wants a pool structure to fail, very much like no one wants to get into an accident, but accidents happen, especially when someone takes their eyes off the road, right? So, if you don't want to gamble on the unbelievable price, then make sure it's being built correctly and hire a second pair of eyes that works for you specifically and can provide you a swimming pool industry level of critiquing eyes inspection. Realize that the building department's inspector doesn't provide you with any guarantee that the pool is being built correctly. They only identify what meets code compliance this pool was inspected by a county inspector and also met all code compliance, but it failed measurably on delivering upon expectations. <laughs> 